Hi, this is Chris Peachman from BuildHoloLens.com. I'm going to show a little bit about dragging around and positioning things on surfaces using the HoloLens. Here I have a couple of holograms using the Holograms app docked onto this, ta this uh, shelf surface. Some ice and water on the surface and then a cloud and rainbows above. There's actually two holograms. The Holograms app itself docked on the wall or pinned on the wall uh, behind it. If you look up, I have a Microsoft Edge browser window pinned to the wall, and over here I'll click on it to activate it, the Windows Store. So if I want to move these around, I can click on the, using the clicker or my fingers to grab it, or tap it, hit adjust, and then I can grab a hold of it, and I can pull it closer to me push it further away, I can move it around. There's also these handles, you can click, grab and drag the handles to resize to make it bigger. And then go up and using my clicker, I'll click done. There, it's that big. And it's actually, you see it's a little bit out from the wall, it's actually not on the wall. So I'll adjust this again. And I'll grab onto it, push it back, let go. Select done, and now it's on the wall. Here's the Microsoft Edge browser. Click on that to activate it. You only have one app activated at a time. So you can't really have a movie playing off to the side while you're doing something else in the web browser. That's a little bit disappointing, but this is a version one product. I'm sure the hardware isn't nearly as powerful as, what it, as it will likely be once it reaches a consumer release. This is the development edition after all. If I look down here at my holograms, I'm going to use my clicker now instead of my fingers. If I click on the ellipse button, it'll open up the menu. I can say adjust, and now I can take my fingers, grab the hologram, and move it around. And this one's been activated too, so I'm going to go grab this one and move this one around. Put this one so we have some floating above. It. See, it's a little bit difficult at times to so get used to it, uh, moving things around because the pinch with your fingers has to stay in view of the HoloLens, and it's easy to move your hand outside the view of the HoloLens by moving your hand too high, low, or to the sides. And then if we go here and just select 